Hey guys, we shall see another problem based on your three phase induction motor. A 440 three phase 50 hertz four pole star connected induction motor has a full load speed of 1425. Can call it as the NFL 1425. The rotor has an impedance of 0 0.04 plus C4 ohm, that is uh, your uh, R2 is this 0.4, whereas X2 is 4 ohm per phase. And rotor bar stator turns ratio of 0.8. So it is, uh, you can call it as uh, N2 by N1 is equal to 0.8, okay? Or you can call it as E2 by E1 is equal to 0.8 because as per the uh, ratio formula. Calculate first one full load torque, second full load copper loss, third maximum torque and speed at which it occurs. So maximum speed will come into picture in third part. Fourth one is starting current. So let us begin first one that is to calculate full load torque. So first we shall write the data. So in uh, the speed of the motor is 1425 that is a full load speed. Could have written it as FL here. F is 50 hertz, P is 4 or as R2 is 0.4 whereas X2 is 4 ohm respectively. Uh, let us calculate the synchronous speed first. So NS is equal to 125 is sub, uh, substitute this frequency as well as poles 4. You would be getting 1500 RPM as synchronous speed. So we know that uh, the speed is around 1425, it is NFL. So I will, I will get a uh, slip uh, with respect to full load slip itself, NS minus N by divided by NS. You substitute the values 1500 minus 1425 divided by 1500, and you will be you're getting 0 0.05. Next comes is uh, your uh, voltage. As you can see, it is uh, connected to the stator 440 volt. So it will be E1. Uh, in here, it is a line voltage. Now it will be calculated in terms of phase. So E1 phase equal to E1 line by root 3 as a star connection. 445 root 3 will give you a certain value here. Okay. Next, uh, K is what ratio turns by stator turns is given here. Rotor bar stator turns is 0.8. So rotor, uh, rotor turns by stator turns. It is K is equal to 0.8. Why? Because it is N2 by N1 or it is E2 by E1. 0.8. Now we have formula. K is equal to E2 phase by E1 phase. So E2 phase will be calculated in terms of this. K is pointed. Multiply E1 phase. E1 phase is equal to 440 by root 3. So we would be getting uh, E2 as 203.227 volt. Okay. Now coming to the uh, full loader. These are all the some preliminary things which you need to do while before getting into the uh, problem. Because full load torque, you can have a general formula there. It is 3 by 2 pi NS. That is K into SFL E2 square by E2 square R2 divided by R2 square plus SFL X2 whole square or yes X2 whole square you can write. And now uh, since we need a full load torque means obviously I need full load slip. So we calculated the full load slip first. Next we know we need to know what is E2 phase. So we calculate E2 phase. R2 is given everything and this and K is already known. Uh, that is 3 by 2 pi NS. So what we do is directly we shall substitute the uh, value here. After substituting the value, what we get? 78.88 Newton meter. As SFL is 0.05, E2 is 440, R2 is 0.4, R2 is 0.4, whereas SFL is 0.05 and X2 is 4 ohm respectively square. And uh, this is NS. NS is equal to, you can calculate in terms of uh, NS divided by 60. You will be converting the uh, speed in terms of uh, RPS rotation per second. Okay, just substitute that value here. We'll be getting 78.88 newton meter. Now, second question: uh, Full load copper loss. See, remember copper loss occurs only when uh, the machine start to rotate. Means during rotating condition itself, the copper loss occurs not in the uh, what you can call standstill condition. Okay. So for that, that's why I've written I2 or not I2. Okay. Or during running condition itself, I need to calculate not at the standstill. If it was standstill condition, means I would have written it as I2, but still you can see full load copper loss. Full load copper loss occurs only during running condition, not at the standstill. Again, the formula is same. That is uh, E2R divided by Z2, you can call in just E2R is nothing but what? S into E2. Since it is occurring at, uh, they are asking at full load. So I'm going to replace it S by SFL into E2. And Z2 can be replaced by what? Square root of R2 square plus SFL X2 whole square. 
and SFL is already calculated that is 0 0.05 E2 is also calculated 203 and remaining things are calculated before itself as per R2 is already given 0.4 square and X substitute is values 0 0.05 as well as 4 uh, do the calculation you will get 22.7214 ampere now uh, I got you might be wondering why we are calculating uh, the uh, what rotor current during running the reason why we are calculating because uh, we know that copper loss general formula is what I square into R so here I is I is precisely I to R so I calculated I to R first so R means the R is the value of the resistance present in the rotor that is R2 right and again I it is no, there is no any R2 R and all as like I said R2 value remains same though it is standstill R it is um, what running condition and now coming to this 3 how this 3 came into picture because copper loss is not occurring in just one phase it's occurring in all the three phases and anyhow the current whatever I written is a what phase value so anyhow it's star uh, uh, anyhow it is a um, star connected if is equal to il but we need to calculate for three of the windings so i am multiplying the answer with respect uh, into in terms of three so that i'm going to get full load copper loss which for the, all the three windings if you are not multiplying this three just you're doing square as well as into r2 and all you'll be getting what copper loss full load copper loss per phase but here full load copper loss totally they are calculating for all the three phases so we need to multiply three now coming to third question third question is maximum torque at and the speed at which occurs so tm as well as nm has been asked I mean, basically tm itself and again we have a formula here already i told you maximum torque form formula already we have taken into consideration here it is again to show you once again okay this is the maximum torque uh, uh, what formula i'm going to take help of this k2 squared by, divided by 2x2 okay um, and k is replaced by 3 by 2 pi ns any of 2 n ns you calculated that is uh, 1500 by 60 ns is small ns equal to capital ns by 60 whereas e2 is already calculated 203 whereas x2 is also known so substitute the values and get the answer as 98.6 newton meter and now coming to the uh what uh, now what happened you have calculated maximum torque and the speed also they have asking means you have to calculate nm also so nm to calculate what you can apply the slip formula basic formula is what s equal to ns by ns minus n divided by ns and if you write sm over there uh, we would be getting nm here that is sm equal to uh, ns minus nm whole divided by ns so first we need to know ns already we know sm we should know so sm formula we know maximum slip occurs side condition r2 by x2 r2 value you know x2 value you know so sm you got so rather than applying this formula just remember it has what s equal to ns minus n divided by ns just replace n by uh, nm whereas s is replaced by sm and substitute the values as per that formula or else you can remember this also you'll be, uh, you'll be getting what uh, the uh, maximum speed motor which has attained is around uh, 1350 again next uh, fifth, fourth question is what fourth question is to calculate the starting current starting current formula is what it is just uh, e2 by z2 and z2 is replaced by r2 square plus x2 square and e2 you can substitute the formula not also can substitute and next also you can substitute you will be getting 50.554 otherwise you can write it as like this also not a big deal s into e2 square root of r2 square plus x x2 square anyhow starting current means s equal to 1 you can substitute over there then also it will resolve the same equation answer is same 50.554 now uh, all four questions are done now let's just move to the another question a three-phase induction motor uh, have six poles stator winding is star connected runs on 240 volt 50 hertz supply the rotor resistance and standstill reactancy here clearly they are mentioning standstill means r2 and x2 are 0.12 ohm as well as 0.85 ohm per phase okay fine uh, next <clears throat> uh, the ratio of stator to turns ratio is 1.8 that is um, uh, e1 by e2 is 1.8 and full load slip that is sfl is 4 percent that is 0 0.04 now calculate the torque developed at full load means you're supposed to calculate tfl with the same general formula so for that we will be need uh, requiring a sfl as well as a e2 per phase as well as k i guess because k is equal to 3 by 2 pi ns so for ns you have to calculate means you have to calculate the capital ns for that and for e1 phase you'll be not getting uh, very easily because we will be having a line voltage initially let whatever whatever it is uh, let us calculate now 
okay calculate the developed torque at full load okay maximum torque tm also it is asked as well as the speed at maximum torque means they are asking you to calculate nm as well now let us set the values uh, as per the data r2 is equal to 0.12 it is given here x2 is 0.85 whereas uh, slip uh, where is the slip uh, slip is around 0 0.04 that is full load slip it should be written as full load slip that is sfl whereas k is equal to what 1 by 1.8 why it is 1 by 1.8 because k is equal to e2 by e1 but here it, what they are given it as e1 by e2 okay so it is uh, 1 by 1.8 if i reverse it okay so even phase uh, what you can calculate here is uh, we know the phase voltage is uh, defined by the formula v phase equal to vl by root 3 like that we have a line voltage 240 by root 3 so e1 phase is 138.56 and uh, k value anyhow you know uh, k formula is what e2 per phase by e1 per phase so e1 per phase i got value here substitute here so we'll be getting what e2 per phase value that is 76.98 that is in the rotor part okay it is during standstill remember that now we shall get into the synchronous speed uh, ns this formula you already know uh, substitute f as well as p you'll be getting 1000 rpm now to calculate the value in terms of rotation per second just divide this thing by 60 you'll be getting 16.67 rps now the general uh, the general formula is in the picture that is k times s e2 square r2 divided by r2 square plus s x2 whole square so k is nothing but 3 by 2 pi ns so substitute the value as per the values now take s as 0 0.04 because uh, could have written as sfl because here it is given no full load slip so torque i am going to get what at full load itself the first question is addressed here okay uh, e2 value already done the uh, per phase value substitute as per the data here so uh, you'll be getting what full load torque is 52.372 better write it as fl here t, t suffix fl now second question is what maximum torque so at the maximum torque what happens maximum slip does occur so we shall write the formula for that just replace s by sm and t uh, tfl by tm tm over here and write the formula as it is uh, but make sure uh, during uh, maximum torque occurs only at the maximum slip we have a formula for maximum slip that is r2 by x2 substitute r2 value as well as x2 value you will be getting this when you get this then substitute back to the original formula you will be getting all values you already know just substitute those and you will be getting tm as 99.85 newton meter now coming to the third question and they are asking you to calculate speed at the maximum torque okay we are supposed to calculate nm so to calculate nm i need what uh slip best uh what uh connection between speed as well as uh uh uh, as well as a uh, torque is uh, slip itself so we shall have a slip formula what slip, what slip formula is so, yeah, since they are uh, asking you to calculate speed at the maximum torque so so due to maximum torque what happens there will be maximum slip so better write it as sm equal to ns minus nm divided by nm so for that you need to know what sm is sm is already calculated and ns is already calculated over here so just, just substitute in that formula or either you can remember this formula and directly you can calculate what nm okay once you know the two parameters third parameters can be easily calculated alternately you can calculate tm tm by this method as well not a big deal both will result the same answer okay uh, i think his problem is over speed at the maximum torque so speed at the maximum torque is 858.9 rpm so just remember uh, we have a torque ratios here uh, that is full load torque and maximum torque that is tfl by tm just remember this formula tfl by tm you can see the formula is tfl by tm that is ratio of full load torque by maximum torque is 2 sf sm divided by sm square plus sf square okay this formula is required for the, the coming problems now second uh, ratio is t start by tm maximum torque ratio so t start by tm is a formula just remember t, t start by tm is equal to 2 sm divided by 1 plus sm whole square so here it is uh, 2sf sm sm square plus sf square but here it is uh, 2sm divided by 1 plus sm square so you should remember these two ratios so it will be helpful to solve the uh, coming problems otherwise uh, you should be calculating starting torque maximum torque uh, what separately again you have to divide if you want means otherwise if you remember this formula then there is no any problem you can directly get the ratio of starting torque to the maximum torque as well as uh, full load torque to the maximum torque okay uh, if you remember then it would be fine 
otherwise no worries if anyhow you will be knowing the tfl formula as well as tm formula just divide one by the another another you will be getting the answer